learners, have a nice day. By the way, I am Teacher Jessa, your mathematics teacher for today. I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well in their respective homes. So, before we proceed to our lesson proper, please all rise and let us pray first. to experience the warmth of your love and feel your boundless grace. We ask that you bless us with knowledge and understanding as we study our lessons for today. Help us, dear Lord, to be obedient to our teachers and to be caring and respectful to our classmates. Be with us, inspire us, and lead us to be more like you. May our doings for today bring honor and glory. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Amen. Good day, class! How are you today? Oh, you are all doing good. So are you ready to our new lesson? That's great! But before we proceed that, let's have a review. In your previous lesson, you have learned on how to represent quantities in real-life situation using algebraic expressions and equations, specifically the four basic rules for solving equation. And what are those again? Correct! Those are addition property of equality, subtraction property of equality, multiplication property of equality, and division property of equality. I think you are ready now to our new lesson. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to calculate speed, distance, and time. Are you ready? So let's begin! Juan's car travels 240 kilometers in 3 hours while Luna's car travels 250 kilometers in 5 hours. Can you guess which car is faster? You're right! It's Juan's car. The speed of Juan's car is 80 km per hour, while Luna's car is only 50 km per hour. Good job, kids! And now, our lesson for today is calculating speed, distance, and time. Let us define first the following words. Speed. When we say speed, it refers to how fast an object is moving. Let S for speed, D for distance, T for time. Thus, the formula is S equals D divided by T or speed equals distance divided by time. Distance When we say distance, it is the amount of space between two objects or the state of being far apart. In finding the distance traveled by an object, multiply the average speed and the time traveled. Thus, the formula is D equals S times t or distance equals speed multiplied by time time it is the measured or measurable period during which action process or condition exists or continues in finding the time traveled divide the total distance traveled to the average speed thus the formula is t equals d divided by s or time equals distance divided by speed let us learn the following examples example number one eric bought a new car and drove from balay batangas to tagaytay city if he traveled at 160 kilometers for four hours what was the average speed of his new car? Before we will solve example number one, let us first understand 
the concept of DST triangle. DST triangle. It is very helpful to easily solve word problem involving speed, distance, and time. If you are looking for speed, just cover S. D and T will remain. So that means S equals D divided by T or speed equals distance divided by time. If you are looking for distance, just cover D. S and T will remain. So that means D equals S times T or distance equals speed times time. If you are looking for the time, just cover T. D and S will remain. So that means T equals D divided by S or time equals distance divided by speed. Now, let's solve example number one. In this example, you are going to find the speed. To find the speed, we can use DST triangle. If you are looking for speed, just cover S. D and T will remain. So that means S equals D divided by T or speed equals distance divided by time. The given data are 160 kilometers for letter D, 4 hours for letter T. Using the formula S equals D divided by T, we will substitute the given data. S equals 160 kilometers divided by 4 hours. The answer is the average speed of Eric's new car is 40 km per hour. Example number 2. Find the distance traveled within 2 hours at 30 km per hour. In example number 2, we are going to find the distance. If you are looking for distance, just cover D. S and T will remain. So that means D equals S times T or distance equals speed times time. In this example, the given data are S 30 kilometers per hour, T 2 hours. Thus, D equals S times T, D equals 30 kilometers per hour times 2 hours. The answer the distance traveled is 60 kilometers. Example number 3. How long does it take to travel within 280 kilometers at 70 kilometers per hour? In example number 3, we are going to find the time. If you are looking for the time, just cover T. D and S will remain. So that means T equals D divided by S or time equals distance divided by speed. The given data are S equals 70 kilometers per hour, D for 280 kilometers. Thus, T equals D divided by S. We have 280 kilometers divided by 70 kilometers per hour. The answer is um, it takes 4 hours to travel. Great! Let's practice your mind. You are going to read and analyze each problem. You have 10 seconds to solve the correct answer. Number 1. Rika can type 900 words in 20 minutes. Calculate her typing words per minute. What is your answer? It's 45 words per minute. In this problem, we are looking for the rate or speed of her typing. This is the solution. S equals D divided by T. 
S equals 900 words divided by 20 minutes. The answer is 45 words per minute. Number 2. How far will you go if you will drive 2 hours at 76 kilometers per hour? What do you think is the answer? Correct! It's 152 kilometers. This is the solution. D equals S times T. D equals 76 kilometers per hour times 2 hours. The answer is 152 kilometers. Number 3. How long will it take to travel 270 kilometers at 45 kilometers per hour? What is the answer? It's 6 hours. This is the solution. T equals D divided by S. T equals 270 kilometers divided by 45 kilometers per hour. The answer is 6 hours. Very good. You are doing great in your practice activity. This time, let me ask you a question. How do you find speed, distance, and time? Yes, to find speed, distance, and time, just look at DST triangle. If you are looking for speed, just cover S. D and T will remain. So that means S equals D divided by T or speed equals distance divided by time. If you are looking for distance, just cover D. S and T will remain. So that means D equals S times T or distance equals speed times time. If you are looking for the time, just cover T. D and S will remain. So that means T equals D divided by S, or time equals distance divided by speed. You're doing great, kids! Let's find out if you really learned from our lesson. Number 1. If the car travels 180 kilometers in 2 hours, what is the average speed? A. 70 kilometers per hour. B. 80 kilometers per hour, C, 90 kilometers per hour, D, 60 kilometers per hour. You're correct. It's letter C. The average speed is 90 kilometers per hour. This is our solution. Speed equals distance divided by time. Speed equals 180 kilometers divided by 2 hours. Therefore, the answer is 90 kilometers per hour, the average speed. Number 2. Anna travels 582 kilometers for 6 hours. Find her average speed in hours. A. 97 kilometers per hour. B. 98 kilometers per hour. C. 99 kilometers per hour. D. 100 kilometers per hour. You're right. The answer is letter A. The average speed is 97 kilometers per hour. This is our solution. Speed equals distance divided by time. 
speed equals 582 kilometers divided by 6 hours. Therefore, we have the average speed of 97 kilometers per hour. Number 3. Calculate the distance if you traveled 7 hours at 85 kilometers per hour. A. 598 kilometers. B. 595 kilometers. C. 695 kilometers. D. 597 kilometers. You're right again. It's letter B. The distance is 595 kilometers. This is our solution. D equals S times T. D equals 85 kilometers per hour times 7 hours. Therefore, the distance is 595 kilometers. Number 4. Calculate the distance if you traveled 3.5 hours at 69 kilometers per hour. A. 241.5 kilometers. B. 242.5 kilometers. C. 244.6 kilometers. D. 254.3 kilometers. Excellent! The answer is letter A. The distance is 241.5 kilometers. This is our solution. D equals S times T. D equals 69 kilometers per hour times 3.5 hours. D equals 241.5 kilometers. Number 5. The twins Anna and Annie decided to go home using different modes of transportation. Anna used her bicycle and drove 10 kilometers per hour, while Annie decided to take a cob and drove 20 kilometers per hour. If they were 150 kilometers per hour away from their house, how long does Anna's journey take? A. 14 hours B. 13 hours C. 15 hours D. 16 hours Correct! The answer is letter C. Anna's journey will take 15 hours. This is our solution. T equals D divided by S. T equals 150 kilometers divided by 10 kilometers per hour. Therefore, Anna's journey will take 15 hours. You've been awesome, kids. You are able now to calculate speed, distance, and time. Imagine what would the roads be like if all the drivers do not have the knowledge about speed, distance, and time. Imagine a race wherein the organizers, the players, and the people around do not have the knowledge about it. In that essential skills you've learned today, class, you can appreciate and apply it in your daily life. Thank you for being active learners today. Have a great day ahead. Again, this is Teacher Jessa. See you next session.